Yo, ever wish you could watch YouTube while texting your friends or maybe take notes without switching apps every five seconds? Well, guess what? Android's got a floating window feature that's a total game changer for multitasking. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use it like a pro. Step one, add an app to floating window. All right, let's start with how to float an app. Most Android phones, especially Samsung, already have this built in. First, open the app you wanna float. Let's say YouTube. Then, hit the Recent Apps button at the bottom of your screen. Next, tap the app icon at the top of the preview window. Now select Open in Pop-up View. Boom! Your app is now floating. You can move it around, resize it, do whatever feels comfy for you. Step 2. Minimizing the floating window. Okay, now let's say you want to hide it without closing it completely. Easy fix. Tap the little blue bar at the top of the floating app. Then, tap the icon on the far left. That keeps the floating. Menu always visible. Now, just hit the minimize button. And voila! You'll see a tiny app icon floating around. Just tap it again any time to bring it back. Step 3. Floating multiple apps. Yep, you're not limited to just one. You can float multiple apps at the same time. Let's say you want to open a notes app. Same deal. Open it, go to recent apps, tap the icon, and select open in pop-up view. Stack as many as you want and arrange them however you like. It's like mini windows on your phone. Step 4. Exiting floating mode. And when you're done and want to clean up the screen, just tap and hold the floating icon. Then drag it to remove. And that's it. So yeah, that's how you level up your multitasking game on Android using floating windows. If this helped you, give it a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Android tips coming your way. Catch you in the next one. Peace.